Everybody, and what's up, Sussex Squad? Sit down, we gotta talk. Um, Kate has hit rock bottom, and by Kate, I mean the people in Kensington Palace that are trying to throw her under the bus to make William, the lazy, the repulsive, the never great, look better. You guys, this has hit max capacity. Not only are they releasing stories about Kate's friends, like, oh my God, I can't believe she's wearing, not wearing her wedding ring. There'd be soft launching the divorce or the rumored divorce. Baby, William is out here in the streets having all these people talk about Kate divorce. Even Sarah Vine is weighing in about why they would be divorcing if they would. On top of that, Kate, it, William is out in the street windmilling on anybody that dares put his beloved Rose Hanabury's name in their mouth. Y'all, let's get into this because honestly, I don't know what to think anymore. At the end of the day, the one thing we can all agree with is Kate is not in a position where she can speak for herself. Either she can't or she won't. Her mother and the Kensington Palace has come out to say that Kate has not disclosed her situation to her family, to her close friends. Her mother has admitted that she has not had contact with Kate. Her uncle has admitted this. If you guys want to actually go into detail, go watch my playlist. I posted the videos earlier today. The playlist is really good. You should check it out. But also Pierce Morgan has come out and said that he has heard horrible things about what's going on with Kate. And even mm -hmm. if a portion of them are even halfway true, it's truly awful on top of that damn Wooten has come out and done an interview with Megan Kelly where he admits a number of things we'll talk about not to mention the least of which is we'll get into the divorce stuff in a second and hitting rock bottom Kensington Palace has completely abandoned Kate William in my opinion is cutting ties right a lot of people say that we're going to feel stupid when Kate shows up in Easter. Baby, you guys are going to feel stupid when they literally bring out a mop with a brown wig on top, right? Cosplaying Megan or whoever, and they try to say, oh, my God, I'm Kate. Again, I'm not making light of the fact I don't even care for who Kate presents herself as a person, but it really makes me scared that a woman is completely unaccounted for. Even her family says she's unaccounted for. All these things are flowing through the media and they cannot produce one picture, one video or anything. Here's what Dan Wooten, I'm giving you a summary of his interview with Megyn Kelly because I don't want to give Dan Wooten views and I don't want to give Megyn Kelly views either. Quiet this is kept, okay? Kate's very unwell. She... um. What she has is very embarrassing. The UK does uh, does intentionally or is intentionally doing PR on behalf of the palace, the UK press, but they usually don't want to do it. This is what Dan Wooten's saying. I'm summarizing. But with social media, the UK papers are no, no longer can control the narrative. So now they're trying to tell us that the UK papers have not been a PR extension of the royal family's press. No, 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 no. Social media proved made them do it. Okay. Um, the press knows a lot more than they're saying. Uh, they he confirmed that the press knew Queen Elizabeth had blood cancer and didn't report it. Implies Camilla also is not well either. Also, Dan still uh obviously still buddies with William. And is still lying about other stuff and kept trying the whole interview to turn uh, the topic to Megan and Harry. But Megan Kelly didn't take the bait because at the end of the day, baby, you can't say anything about Megan and Harry because we know where they are. I can't believe William thinks these same tricks are going to work. You guys know also Megan actually launched um, uh, her new website, American Rivera, and the Royals are mad. But baby, who cares um i'll do a video about that also william's throwing a temper tantrum towards harry but it's just like it's weird at this point let's get back into the divorce news all right okay first of all they're saying that prince william and kate middleton's friends are completely baffled by kate's missing wedding ring this is in the daily beast the daily beast is huge over in the uk and they get a lot of palace sources okay they're saying that the friends are being left completely baffled after Kate was snapped without her wedding ring in the now infamous 
Dr. Mother's Day photo. I hate the fact they keep using the words Photoshop. It was a fake photo. It was a Frankenstein photo. And the latest development to come after American comedian Stephen Colbert ignited rumors that William engaged in a scandalous affair back in 2019. By the way, you know William is throwing on a cloak of protection over Rose Hanbury. Remember what Megan said, and I said it again, you lie to protect her, but you won't tell the truth to protect me. He is literally, there is a gag order by the press for all UK media to remove Rose Hanbury's name out of any single mention, even the mention about the Cor Cor uh, Corbert report. This is the same man that's being dragged by the UK press for not protecting Kate and making her going out there and humiliating herself while she's sick and very ill over that Photoshop um, picture, which leads me to say, Dan Wooten saying that Kate is very seriously ill. Pierce Morgan is saying that Kate is very, very ill. They're trying to convince us that Kate's coming back to work in two weeks. And not only that, if she's that ill, how was she uh, photoshopping pictures on Friday and Saturday? Again, the lies aren't adding up. I believe Pierce Morgan. Now, I know he's a known liar, but he did release Kate's name as the royal racist. Um, I do believe he is um, loyal to Camilla and Charles. And I do think Ch Camilla and Charles want to leak this info just because they are a-holes, okay? Um, but it's interesting to me uh, the way the whole thing, how Rose is being protected so, so much out of this whole scenario. I do also believe that in that car ride with William, it was Rose's face turned to the side, not Kate's. Because Kate has sharp angles, Rose has the horsey face. Okay. Um, anyway, they're saying that William and Kate's closest friends have broken their silence regarding the unfolding cycle saga. According to one Royal insider, right? They said that Colbert's comments on Tuesday night, no doubt deeply annoyed and were unhelpful to the Prince and Princess of Wales. And what the F are they going to do about it? You know, I had somebody in my comments today talking about, oh, you say you don't care anything about royals, but what did the Sussex start and stop using their titles? And they're called the Mount Bowton Windsors. Y'all wouldn't like that. Y'all are just as obsessed with titles as we are, to which I had to be, sir. First of all, this is a Wendy's. What are you doing here? But second of all, right, that's an American joke. I know it's probably going to go over his head. But second of all, where will royalists realize Besides prince and princess, we don't know anything about duke, duchesses, earls, knights, or whatever they use. The name Sussex has the same meaning in the U.S. as Mount Batten Windsor. As a matter of fact, we know Mount Batten Windsor from the uncle that got killed by the Irish. And also, right, shout out to the Irish, right? But also, um, the fact of, isn't that the guy that get with, with who is it wallace simpson at the end of the day we don't care and we don't know if they are forced to leave their titles and we can't call them sussex because nobody's calling them the duke and duchess of sussex and they have to go by howry archie lilibeth mount bot and windsor okay then you can call us mount bot and uh windsor baddies or mount bot and baddies like we don't care about that stuff it means nothing that's why harry and megan go by harry and megan Oddly enough, when they started that trend about just call them Harry and Meghan, um, that's when people started calling them <laughs> Will and Kate and Charles and Camilla. We literally said, since this is all make-believe and we can just call you by your first name, why not? Again, it is uh, what it is. Okay, so let's get into this other thing about how they're so, hold on a second, how they're so shocked about everything uh, that is going on. It's just pathetic. Um, where are we at? Okay, let's pull this up. They're deeply annoyed. Kate ain't deeply anything until we see her. This is all William. William, the Prince and Princess of Wales, it's funny how they're together when they have to answer things about divorce, but when Kate's taking shame and humiliation, she's on her own. Um... They said it's unhelpful, particularly as KP, Kensington Palace, continues to run damage control following the week's Photoshop backlash. It's deeply annoying and unhelpful for the palace. We don't care. It's not, it, but it's not surprising that the affair rumors 
are being reheated. What else are people supposed to think when she sends out a photo not wearing her wedding ring? Now, this is amazing gaslighting, kind of what they did to Harry and Meghan. So Kate, the sick Kate, the very unwell Kate, photoshopped photos of herself, then unbeknownst to her team, her senior roles, her agents, everything, she sent a picture directly to the Associated Press and she made sure she photoshopped her ring off. Another source told the outlet that Will and Kate's closest friends are left completely baffled by Kate's missing wedding ring and Kate's decision not to wear her wedding ring on Sunday uh, was guaranteed to get people asking questions about the state of their marriage. They're often seen together at school events and really it's remarkable how one uh, and often both of them will always be at every match, every music concert and every prize giving. I'm confused. If they're getting a divorce, does that mean they don't show up for their kids anymore? Like what? The relationship has always seemed incredibly strong. Go watch my playlist on the six disturbing signs that they're divorcing, despite the immense pressure they're under. So it's fair to say we're completely baffled when the picture came out with the wedding ring missing, especially as it was Photoshopped. It just seemed to guarantee to get people asking questions about the state of their marriage. Um, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, where are we at? Uh... Another source claimed that Kate's missing wedding ring on Sunday was not only concerning, but also deliberate and a statement in its own right. If it's not there, could that be because she doesn't want it there? It doesn't, it, it doesn't bear thinking, right? What's more? Hold on, there's more. Hold on. Uh, there's only one way to put it into it. This is Sarah Vine, the vile Sarah Vine. Come clean about what's really going on or risk drowning in a quagmire of their own making. Oh, but you guys, there is more. They are now listing why they think, and this is royalist. If they are getting divorced, why would it happen? I'm just saying we called it first Sussex squad. One wouldn't underestimate the emotional strain common to the whole royal family of losing, right? Of losing their great matriarch, the late queen. Add to that the king's cancer diagnosis, and inevitably, it's been an unsettling few months. So now you're dating the, you're blaming the queen for William and Kate divorcing? Okay. It also goes without saying that the stress placed upon them both as a result of the accusations leveled at them by the Duke and Duchess of Suspect have been immense. I thought that made them stronger. You don't remember that? In particular, the attacks on the on Kate have been especially vicious. It's also worth remembering that on Kate's side of the family, things haven't been all that easy. Her parents' business party pieces went into administration went into administration last year with more than two point five million in debt. Inevitably, it will take us toll. Baby, it's a wrap for Will and Kate. I just think that Will doesn't realize, and I actually didn't realize enough because I'm an American. Judging by the Twitter, the royalists, and even the comment section, right? And just hear me out. Kate is very much beloved, more than William. Now, I'm not saying she is universally beloved, but she's appreciated and loved more than William. And everybody is saying that if William is cheating, he's a liar, he's a cat, it can't stand for it. Okay, fine. But does William really know what he's doing? Because this is truly turning into another Charles and Diana situation. I am not saying by any right that Kate is another Diana, but she, but William is definitely a Charles. Um, They said, uh, Sarah Vine also admitted that there were no fewer than 12 altercations that have been clearly identified. And there are queries about other aspects of it, ranging from the intriguing to the frankly insane. Some bonkers people are even suggesting the images from November of last year. Although there is no indication from the metadata. Yeah, there is. The digital information about the picture, including details of the device used, location dates, and more, to suggest that this is remotely true. Nevertheless, it seems amateur. Even odder, this is in Sarah Vine, to my mind, it's that the one thing that really stands about, about, about the photograph, the detail most likely to set tongues wagging, has been left untouched. I'm talking, of course, about the fact that she's not wearing any of her rings. It's true that she doesn't always wear the diamond and sapphire engagement ring for obvious reasons. But her wedding band? When has the Princess of Wales ever been seen without it? 
well, since William is divorcing, if you're going to digitally alter anything about the picture, wouldn't that be it? Forget Charlotte's sleeve, just pop that wedding ring back on. If nothing else, to stop people putting from putting two and two together. She also says the same thing we've said. William hasn't been himself lately. Now, this is a hardcore royalist and royal reporter. Especially since the prince hasn't exactly been himself as of late, uh, failing as he did to turn up to the late King Constantine Greece's memorial service at St. George's Chapel a couple of weeks ago, canceling with less than an hour's notice because of the personal matter. This wasn't just anyone. It was his godfather. And the prince's name was on the order of service, plus the chapel. It's only a few minutes by car from his home on the grounds of Windsor Castle. How serious a personal matter can it have been that he couldn't get away for an hour or so? All this makes the absence of the wedding ring on a picture that the princess, by her own admission, now, again, they're throwing her under the bus. I don't think this is Kate. Spent a good deal of time doctoring even more concerning. It makes it seem almost deliberate, a statement in its own right. If it's not there, could that be because she doesn't want it to be? The bear, uh, it doesn't bear uh, thinking about. Um, I do just say one thing. I do believe that William knows that if he divorces Kate for any reason, he will be universally hated. I think it's come to his attention. I think now they're trying to switch the narrative that Kate is the one that wants to divorce. But baby, we're not believing anything until we actually see Kate. You know what I'm saying? When we actually see Kate, I'll believe what she wants and what she doesn't want. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to you later. Bye.